Okay, what's up everybody? So good news, bad news. I recorded that video just a moment ago and it didn't record right. So let's do it again. Uh, let me start off by saying thank you to everybody in the group. Y'all are badass. Uh, we don't have half the information we have if you guys aren't throwing it out like crazy. So I appreciate it. Um, so with that, let's get into this. We had uh, a first class on fibs the other day, fib retracement, Fibonacci retracement. Some people still have questions about it, so I'm going to make another part to it, part two. Uh, I think there are some simple things we need to learn first that uh, we may have overlooked in the first class. Maybe not. So let's see. All right, so what I've got pulled up here on the screen is XRP Weekly. Uh, the first question I had was, how do you know what's an uptrend, what's a downtrend, uh, and where do you start pulling these fibs from? Because even though I pulled them, they look a little odd when we don't know whether it's up or down. So I thought I would show you real quick. So just an eye test at this chart right here on the weekly shows you that we are clearly not in an uptrend. This is going from obviously a high point to a low point and hasn't made a new high point. Uh, there's some things we're looking for in an uptrend. We're looking for higher highs and lower lows. And uh, I haven't, I just haven't seen very many of those. In this whole setup right here you see a lot of highs and lows and then lower highs and lower lows and lower highs and lower lows and lower highs and lower lows that's a downtrend all there is to it now that we know we're in a downtrend we need to measure these downtrends to see if we break any of them and can start an uptrend we won't know until we measure that so first let's label this a downtrend because it's very much clearly a downtrend We'll start by clicking on our text tool and typing in all caps downtrend. We'll even draw a line from point to point here just to kind of have a, a point of reference that this is clearly a downtrend and everyone on planet Earth can see it. This is part of the reason that a lot of guys have said moon, but it hasn't happened yet because we haven't broken this downtrend. We have a solid downtrend here. Break it and we possibly start that whole moon thing. I don't believe it, but it's possible. So we know we're in a downtrend. We see it. Let's measure it. Let's grab our tool right here, our Fibonacci retracement tool here. Since we're in a downtrend, we're going to pull from the top to the bottom. The top of a point to the bottom. Again, we're in a downtrend, so this is a high point. Let's spell correctly. And down at the bottom, we have a lower point down here. Right there. Very obvious, a high point and a low point. And also, we should note that these fibs always go from left to right. We're never going to measure backwards this way, okay? We're never going to pull them in this direction. We're always going to pull from left to right, no matter what. Whether we're measuring up or down, doesn't matter, always left to right. So, in this fib set right here, we can see that we went from high to low. Well, let's get this a little closer, a little close. I like to be exact if I can. Right there, that's more. That's more exact. Really close. We can see we started from high to low, and we pulled back and retraced our steps upwards, just like if we were looking for our car keys. Um, we retrace our steps because we can't find them. We're looking around. We're trying to find them. We walk back to where we came from. We retrace our steps. The chart does the same thing. So we see it went from high to low and slowly retraced back up along these different points, trying to get back to where it came from. It made it up through each one of these individual lines one at a time and then stalled. All right. The number one important fibs are going to be our, in my opinion now, for crypto, the 50 fib and the 786. So I'm going to circle those in red. I got the red tool pulled up here and a drawing tool. I'm just going to give these a circle. Go 
because these are the ones we really want to key in on here. That's because a 50 fib is a continuation fib. If we had it came up here, hit this 50 installed, there would have been a high probability that we come down more. Luckily, that didn't happen here. We made a short-term higher highs in through here and got up over the 50. Now, the bad news is we didn't get to the 786 up here, and the 786 is our breakout fit. Uh, we just haven't reached that point yet. Turns out we stalled right here around 68. Not exactly 68, maybe 70, whatever. But the 68 fib didn't get broken. As a matter of fact, it stopped at the 618 completely. Didn't didn't hold it either. It, it broke it, but didn't hold it. And we need to see things hold, not just break. So the so good news is here, uh, we haven't fallen down below the 50. Uh, we're hanging out in this little zone right here. And that's okay. It's just going to go sideways if it does that which clearly it has been for several weeks now, which has been boring as hell. <clears throat> now, we know this FIB has hit the 618 and pulled back down. We could leave it up here, but I don't want this chart to get too messy. So I'm going to take it off of this FIB set and put another one on because I see another trend. All right, I'm going to erase some of this stuff here. I'm going to pull this off. And what I see here, get my cross symbol up here, <clears throat> is I see a low point and I see another little high point right here. Now, I didn't break this one on this higher high here. It made a short-term high. And the good news is when we did this one right here, we didn't make a lower low. See, we didn't break this point again. We hung out up here. We made a higher low. Now, that is a sign of potential change. A higher low point. And we'll draw an arrow here so it's easy to see. Pick an arrow tool right there. And I messed up a bit there, right? <laughs> Hold on a second. There we go. Arrow. Right there. That's a higher low point. This is the bottom low point. This one's higher. Pretty simple, right? That means we've started a possible uptrend. How far have we gone with it? We don't know yet. Now that we know we have a possible uptrend, we can measure that. We'll grab our Fibonacci retracement tool here. Start at the low point and pull up because we're going from the bottom up on an uptrend to the highest peak right there which was this point right here now what do we see here looks like we came all the way up went through one line at a time tested it broke it tested it broke it got to our high point stopped and stalled out now good news we hit this 236 fib tested a little bit didn't hold it broke down Hit this 382 fib. Now the 382 fib in other stocks, forex, and other types of things is a continuation fib as well. We just don't see it a whole lot in crypto. More often than not, the 50 and the 786 are more important. The 382 still holds water. That's why it's on my chart. 